Hello everyone, this is John Stewart. I'm the culinary director here at the 1230 Club in Nashville, down on Upper Broadway. We're a multi-faceted food and entertainment venue. We have a honky tonk located on our street level, a private membership club in our mezzanine area, as well as a classic American supper club on our second floor. We have a delicious uh, loaded baked potato bread here, uh, which is a bread dough that we mix in with some baked potato as well as some cheddar cheese and bacon. It's then served on the side with a beautiful tempered butter with more cheddar cheese, bacon, and finished with fresh chives. Served warm. Start with Harvest King flour, about 500 grams. Add it into your mixer. We're going to be sure we start this on a little bit low so we don't make a big mess. I'm going to put in 40 grams of granulated sugar. These are all going to be our dry ingredients first. Right after that, we're doing some instant yeast. Get that right in there. We'll start this very slowly just to incorporate the dry ingredients. If you have that, just check your bowl. Make sure nothing's stuck on the bottom. I'm going to add 200 grams of whole milk. We're going to add 8 grams of honey. Forty grams of riced baked potato. And a whole egg. We're going to mix this for about four minutes until everything is very well incorporated. Once we have our initial dough mixed, we're then going to add whole butter. About 50 grams. Kosher salt. Mix for about four minutes to reincorporate. We're going to add chopped cooked bacon. We use Tillamook cheddar cheese that we shred. Fresh cut chives. About 50 grams worth. We're going to mix this up for about another four minutes. Once our dough has been mixed, we're going to transfer it into a bowl with just a little bit of olive oil just so it stays non-stick. A little bit of plastic wrap over the top and you're going to set it aside kind of room temp for about an hour and a half while you work on some other projects. So we have our dough nicely proofed. Now we're going to begin to portion out into the size of the uh, dough balls we want. So we want to do about 50 gram balls. We suggest measuring them all out ahead of time. That way you can kind of keep a nice consistent flow going. So for our next step, we're going to proof them a second time. Once we have the portions, depending on how many you make, you're going to get them onto a sheet pan. You need to try to find a relatively warm spot in your kitchen, behind the oven, above the oven, uh, somewhere where it's a little bit moist to help them develop size and shape. And then you need to proof these for around an hour. For our next step, once the bread is proofed, it's very light, it's almost doubled in size, we're going to finish it with some egg wash, some cheddar cheese, right before we go back into the oven. Want to get a nice amount of cheese over the top. Don't be afraid if some falls off, it burns onto the pan. It's super nice and crispy and it's some of the best parts of this bread. All right, once you've achieved this process, uh, we're going to get the bread into the oven, probably around 325 to 345, depending on your oven temp. You're going to do four minutes, rotate, and then finish with another four minutes on the other side for even brownness. So after around eight minutes, uh, your bread's gonna come out of the oven. You have your beautiful color. You see your nice crispy cheese. You wanna let it maybe rest for one or two minutes uh, just to firm up as well so it's not too hot. We're then gonna serve this bread with a sour cream butter, more cheddar cheese, more nice crumbled bacon, nice amount of fresh chives over the top. And that's the 1230s loaded baked potato bread. This bread is served warm uh, and is a delicious start to the holiday meal coming out as well as be great for leftovers with turkey inside.